Wake up in the morning with some real strange on my mind. My mind. My mind. My mind. My mind. Wake up in the morning with some real strange on my mind. My mind. My mind. My mind. My mind. They call me a murderer, and that just sent chills up my spine. My, my spine. Cause I know I'm a beast in the streets, and all this hate that I receive made me wanna eat them up like they my dinner. When all this tension get released, they stay away from me. But I got to let them know that they're fucking with a winner. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Say. Cause I'm pretty much like you. Except you know I don't play. 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 And my blood lust always gets in the way. Yeah. Look here. I don't fear these niggas. I don't feel these niggas. Every time I look in the mirror, I say, boy, I'ma kill these niggas. I say, boy, I'ma kill these niggas. Yeah. I say, boy, I'ma kill these niggas. I say, boy, I'ma kill these niggas. I'm serial killer. I say, boy, I'ma kill these niggas. YouTube, that one on you're back again on once again today, people. Today, we're here for episode number 40. Wait for it, nine of our Pokemon Snakewood Nuzlocke. 49 episodes or almost to 50. We have a few projects on this channel that have gotten to, to this many number of episodes, but hey, it has been a blast. I've had fun with Snakewood and all of its weird, wacky zaniness, but we are here for episode number 49. And I do apologize for the delay in today's episode between all of the constant leak and stream, the damn bursting open of Sun and Moon information, and my own procrastination regarding grinding. It is, it's taken us a little bit, but we're here now. It's, what's done is done, but we're here now for episode number 49. So if you guys are hyped for some more Snakewood, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, you may have seen that we did, in fact, have a grinding montage at the start of this episode, and we needed to get our team leveled up about 10 levels apiece, uh, because we had the warning in the last episode, or the episode before that, one of the two, uh, where they said the end of the game is going to be very, very tough, very, very difficult, and we were like, I don't know if we're ready for this yet, and the one level, the one number that I saw everyone say that we should get to is level 85. So I got our entire squad up to level 85. We did a regretting montage. So let's get a quick team recap for you guys. And I'll explain to you the trick, the secret that I use. Up first, we have Morbid the side pick at level 85. Shut the fuck up, phone. God damn it. We have Morbid the side pick at level 85, holding the leftovers because he's a little piggy, rocking psychic, side beam, fire pump, and bite. We have Adorbs the Meganium. Yes, you heard it right. Adorbs the Meganium has finally been leveled up to level 85. 85 holding the sand cloak because you can't see him. I might have a different item for you I need to check the PC, but we have razor leaf solar beam body slam and reflect We need to check the TMs for me or for our dwarves as well Then we have Sonya the radio orange level 85 holding the demon horn because she's not too quick rock and flame We have fire blast crazy bolt crazy bolt and will-o-wisp then we have badger the Lucas on level 85 holding some teeth because he's about to knock the fuck out your teeth nigga He's collecting them got a motherfucking necklace. I said he when it's a she god damn it But she's got dragon claw fury dance ice Beam and refresh. Moveset has not changed since we caught her. Then we have Family Guy, the Rock Lobster, level 85, holding the meaty belt for its meaty claws, Rockin' Dragon Claws, Surf Rock Slide, and Super Power. And last but not least, we have Stooge Little Drio, who's still level 77. I went ahead and put the Brain Link, aka the EXP share, on Stooges because we trained in, um, the Band of Mines, and there's a bunch of rock types there, and we have flying type moves, drill peck fly, tri attack, which is normal, and, and agility, which makes it very, very difficult to, to grind and train, so I just felt, you know what, we're just going to leave you down here at the bottom of the party. Everyone else is 85, and you can just catch up as you need to. Now, what I ended up doing, you guys, everyone says 
use EXP codes, which I don't have a problem with. I've done it in the past. It's just I, for the life of me, could not find an EXP code that could work. I don't know if I'm just stupid, if I input it wrong, whether I was supposed to use the mask code or didn't use the mask code. No matter what I tried, it just would not just flat out would not work. I, I couldn't get it to work. So, I had this idea, this ingenious thought, one day when I was in the shower, to go ahead and gen in a lucky egg, which in the game is known as a love drain. Now, some people might see that as cheating, yada yada yada. It's better than using rare candies, because you can actually train your mons, and I, I, I actually get to do a grinding montage, which I don't know about you guys, but I think grinding montages kind of, kind of sort of become like a staple of the channel. And I would prefer just to grind naturally than to use rare candies at times. So either way, it is what it is. I, I ended up using the Lucky Egg. It's grinding still took about three hours, period. It still took about three hours to grind our squad up. Uh, but Lucky Egg definitely made it so, so much easier and uh, able to be done. So we have, uh, last or last episode I was going to say, uh, I asked, oh wait, let's look at our TMs real quick. I will tell you guys the story as we're, as we're doing this. We have five nuggets, by the way. Uh, last episode, we, uh, I, I spoke about other side missions that needed to be done. We unfortunately failed in catching the, the tumor or whatever it was called. And Zachary Taylor, or Zachary Harper, my bad, <laughs> that's the president. Zachary Harper, shout out to you, bruh. Uh, he let us know about another quest, which I didn't even know about didn't even know about uh, the trick master quest so we're gonna start today's episode off doing that so shout out to him everyone say thank you Zachary shout out to him for helping us uh, learn and know more about snakewood and everything we need to do so uh, first up we need to look at some uh, TMs I'm thinking maybe sunny day can we get sunny day is it worth it uh, reflect I might want to keep reflect I'm just looking for something else to do Stop trying to teach Sunny Day. I'm just looking for something that maybe toxic? Because Reflect isn't bad to have, but... <sighs> I think I'm going to teach it toxic. I just want I just want it to be more utility, you know? Uh, Dorbs is here to be that, that wall and eat up hits and whatnot, so I think we're, gonna, we're good with that for right now. So, in order to do this Trick Master quest, shout out to Zachary Harper again, and uh, go back to Little Root and go up to Route 101 and go to the house on the right. So let's go back to Little Root. And go up to the house, or go up to Route 101, and go to the house on the right. Oh, wow. I completely forgot about this house even being here. Hey, what gives? I can't walk any further north. Booming disembodied voice. This time is not yet right, Nappy. Leave this place at once. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we can't do the Trickmaster quest. I'm guessing that's the house you're talking about? Go to the house on the right? Can we take these mines? Oh, shit. We can't take them. Still can't take them. Uh, we can't go up there, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do this quest. This town, there's once a boy who lived here called Landon. He, he'd be dead now, of course. No one survived here. I don't need this anymore. Oh, we got a broken heart. Okay. Alright, well, we can't go to the house. I don't know if we're supposed to do that or not. But apparently, you go to the house on the right, and you pick up an item. Then, make your way to the house and talk to the trick master. He will take the item you got at the entrance and give you a fake mod. So, is that what you're talking about with all the broken hearts you're supposed to? Because I heard someone say that you get a Shadaru by collecting the broken hearts. Someone said there's 50 broken hearts you can get in the game, and someone will give you a Shadaru. Is that supposed to be the Trickmaster's house there? Because the Trickmaster's house in the game now is just a Pokemon Center, so... I don't know, but either way, we can't go up there. It doesn't... This booming disembodied voice doesn't let us go there, so... IDK! 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 I'm gonna slide back over here and heal for what it's worth, and I think it's time for us to head over here. The only other side quest that we could do at this time is uh, the fight the guy on top of Mount Doom. But everyone has been telling me that he's very, very tough and difficult, and I don't know, are we trying to end our lock right now? <laughs> are we trying to end the lock right now, or do we actually want to see what happens at the end of the game? So, I don't know, but I think since we can't fly, we can't fly back into Sutopolis. The only option that we have is to actually go... Yo, actually, you know what I want to do first? You know what I want to do first before we do this? I'm sorry, this is just... I don't think we've done this yet. I want to try it out. I just want to surf this way and see what's over here. Route 130. Because on the map, you know, we could never go to this side. Have we been here before? Route 129. Because I was going to say, on the map, we can never go over to 
this side of the Pokemon League, right? Because of the, uh... Oh, wait, we have come here before. I already battled that dude. I haven't battled him. Level 70? How about you relax? You, you go ahead, you go ahead, and you get that fucking Skull Bash on, bruh. You Skull Bash away. I don't know, I just, I don't remember coming over to this side of the Pokemon League because of the... What is it called? What is it called? The fucking sea monster that blocked the path. But, yo, I'm not gonna lie, having a Dorbs, having a Dorbs in the party is actually kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna Solar Beam this bitch. Because why the fuck not? Ugh, it's so nostalgic. I haven't, mean, I don't think we've ever used, actually no, I don't say we, we've never used the Meganium. I think I might have used it once in an LP before. But still, like, we, we rarely ever get the chance to use a Meganium. So I think it's really, really dope that we have a Dorbs in the party. But still, I just wanted to explore over here really quickly before we head over there. We could dive here. Mmm. Mmm. Who wants to dive? <laughs> dive, dive, dive. Yeah, I remember seeing this this fishing spot with all these dudes in it. I might come back here and uh, dive and just look around because this is where all the storyline stuff goes down. So you gotta think there has to be something in these waters. Has to be. Has to be. I don't need a microphone. There has to be something in those waters, don't you think? Don't you think? Shadow swipe? How about superpower? How about superpower? And how about you cut it the fuck out with the shadow swipes? And Sceptile, you can go suck a set dick. How's that? How's that for you? Wine gums. Just candies. Just candies. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's where we came out at Fort Drake. Oh. Oh. So we've gone all the way over. So if we need to, probably in a grinding montage sometime, I'll come back through here and just do a bit more exploring. But I think that's the extent of everything we can do on that side. I just want to make sure there's everything that we can do we're actually doing. Because I'm sure you guys, I don't need to tell you by now, there are a lot of hidden things in this game. And I think, honestly, that's what makes it a, a decent ROM hack. I think out of all the ROM hacks that we play, Snakewood, even though sometimes the game has a few stupid parts that are convoluted and a little difficult to, to figure out, I don't think it's a bad ROM hack. I've actually enjoyed playing it. And I can tell from your guys' incessant spamming of where's Snakewood, where's Snakewood, where's Snakewood, that most of you guys are enjoying it as well, too. So I can't be mad about that. But let us slip and slide out of here, because if I'm not mistaken... We can't just fly into Sutopolis, which sucks. We have to go all the way through here. Excuse me. We don't have strength yet, either. That's the only other thing we have to do. We have the guy on top of Fort Draco, and then there's, what, two strength spots? There's that one, and then the chill path, or whatever it was called. We have to go through as well. So we have a few different areas that we need to go through before we're done. But through the power of Christianity, we're now going to teleport to Sutopolis. Swag, bitch. And we're going to head into this secret hideout. And the time has come. So the time has indeed come. I hope that we can actually go back and do these side quests and it's not just like end of game, end of world kind of thing. I'm going to save the game and I'm actually going to make a separate save state. And I'm not going to overwrite this one. Ready to head out, Nappy? Meteor says he'll fly you to the secret entrance we discovered to the Necropolis. Sure. Godspeed, Nappy. I wish you the very best of luck. Meteor's just coming. So, I don't remember the plan, but each of us, it was, what was it? It was me, Steven, I think I'm supposed to head to the prisoner area, and I'm supposed to save Landon and May, I think. There was, what, three or four of us, and we each had something to do. Are you alright? That was a rather rush landing. I'm fine. Very well then. Steven and Azumi are just here. Right, we're all here then. Let's get moving. Oh yeah, the Sage. Oh, it's the four of us, yes. It's me, Meteor, Azumi, the Sage, and Steven. Come, Nappy. Alright, Meteor. I got you, B. I got you. Oh god, this is gonna be terrifying. I'm gonna look around. Hold on, time out. Ooh, it's a good thing I did. Got another broken heart. I don't know how many of those we have. Like I said, someone said that it was supposed to be 50 broken hearts. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna reset this each time. 
Someone said it was supposed to be 50 broken hearts, but I don't know if we're ever gonna get that many. Come on, Nappy. The fate of all Hoenn is at stake. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I'm right here with you. Necropolis. Okay, so is this considered a new area? Can we get a new encounter here? Oh, this is where we were this is where we were at before, right? Yes, this is where we, we body this nigga. He had level 100s. We sucked his life out of him. Can we get a new encounter here, though? No? No wild level 100 mons? Do I still have a max repel on? I can't. I can't possibly have a max repel on. Whatever. Fuck it. Okay, gang. According to our information, the passage to the main base has a narrow entrance, but is wide enough for three to walk abreast. Uh, those words sound familiar. Really can't think why. Come on, then. You go first, and we'll follow. Really? So I'm supposed to lead? Well, you know what? I'll lead. I got my posse, my squad behind me. Let's go. Nigga, I can't. Actually, it's kind of bad of us to make you go first. We'll check to see if we'll go check to see if it's safe before we make you go. All clear. Come on. Okay, Steven. Shit. Oh God. The information was wrong. You could only fit one or two people here. Huh? Remind me never to trust J.R.R. Tolkien again. Anyway, where is everyone? They must have gone on ahead to carry on their tasks. I guess that just leaves me. Okay, let's do this to the incarceration chamber. Necropolis hub, top left, passages south, top right, passages west, bottom right, passages east, bottom left, passages north. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that. Oh wait, oh, this is the hub. Oh, the porn hub. Wait, passages south, but we don't know which one it is. Did he tell us? I'm just gonna jump in. How do I jump in? How do I, I... Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I can't jump... Am I supposed to be on my Vespa? I don't know how I'm supposed to get in. This is the pit that leads down to the North Passages, where the incarceration chamber is. You should go down. Okay. I didn't know that's where we're supposed to go, but we're gonna go there. And it looks like we're... Oh, fuck. Well... We're, we've committed now. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I can't tell which one. I mean, I guess. Nope, that makes no sense either. And uh, this this passage. <gasps> the Greyville! Yes! I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm throwing ultra balls. Holy shit! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Swap. Yeah, suck a dick. Greyville. Yes! I don't even remember what this area is! I don't remember what it is. Is it incarceration chamber? Is it passages? Is it considered necropolis? I don't fucking know. But we caught a goddamn Graveville! This was once a marrow, but now it's good for nothing but scrap and raw bloody zombie style aggression. You can mine pure anger from between its ears. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. So what are we gonna name Graveville? What are we gonna name Graveville? Hmm. It's female. It's female, so I think I'm gonna name it Squeemale. <laughs> I wanna name it Squeemale. <laughs> it's female, so I'm gonna name it Squeemale. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I can't tell the difference between what's alleged that I can jump up and what's alleged that I can jump down. So we're just gonna just fucking YOLO it. Oh, there's Molder here too! I would've loved to have caught one of those! Oh, the game just messes with me. I don't know where to go. Yeah, that, that blue tongue, though. What that mouth do? I'm just gonna keep hopping. And we'll see if we can figure out a way to... <gasps> There's wild zombies here. I'm just gonna keep jumping, and whatever we encounter, or whatever ends up happening, ends up happening. I'm gonna spray this repel, though. As we hop all the way back across. Knock, knock. Am I supposed to do anything with this pit? I'm here to save all of you incarcerated losers. I don't fucking know what we're doing. I'm gonna go this way. Oh. Alright. Oh, wait. I went down one of two paths. Did I go the right way? Hey. What's poppin'? 
with you ugly unattractive looks like that shit was it Luke Skywalker was frozen or some shit I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars so I barely know but that's what it looks like right I don't know if I was supposed to do something there I couldn't access them oh hello hello buddy you're sexy wait I can't go that way can I go this way what's popping with you Grr. his roar shook the ground Oh, you don't need Rhyhorn's help right now. Shout out to you, big dog Rhyhorn. Shout out to you, bruh. Okay, well, can we go back? Can we make our way back? All right, well, let's go back around again. Can we go this way? Me. Nee. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. All right, well, I don't know how the hell we're supposed to get back up there, then. Uh, 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 I'm nervous. I have no idea where we're going. I feel like this took us back around. So we have to go all the way up, and then around. Fuck, I did it wrong. Yeah, I have to go all the way up. I'm all the way up! How do we get up there, though? Oh. And this one took us all the way down. Wait, 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 I got it. And this one takes us all the way up. All the way around. I want you to know, I have no idea. I, I still can't tell the difference between what is a ledge I can jump over and what is a ledge that blocks me. It's just, I just go. I just go. And whatever happens, happens. And we take this first path. Hey, what's popping with you ugly Negroes? They've been <gasps> frozen in carbonite. Is this for real? I guess it must be. Fine. I'll push the concealed switches but one by one. The concealed switches? This one. Move to holding room B. Now this one. Move to holding room B. Now this one. Move to holding room B. And finally, move to holding room B. All done. Alert, alert, unauthorized movement of prisoners, alert. Damn it, someone must have noticed. I have to rescue those hostages quickly. Fucking YOLO it, bruh. You push the release button. Landon. Oh my god. You're so bland. Landon! <laughs> what is with that? I came all this way to rescue you, fought off the better part of the nation's zombies, saved a parallel universe, and you're just an ordinary cool trainer? Uh, hello, dearest long lost brother. Might have been nice. Geez, you didn't get any more polite while I was in here, did you? And about my bland appearance, well, what did you expect? The cutlerines run out of sprites, and by this point doesn't care about the fourth wall. Besides, you showed up as a protagonist and stole the hero overworlds. Anyways, it's really good to see you again, Nappy. You've changed so much. There's power in you that wasn't there before. You came here all the way from Little Root. You must be way stronger than me by now. Anyway, please release May. Okay. You push the release button. May! Oh my god! Like, hi, Nappy! You took your time getting here. I had some things to do on the way. Anyway, you're also disappointingly bland, but I'm glad you're okay. So am I! May, let's get out of here. After that time in Carbonite, neither of us are up to fighting. Nabby, like, everything's in your hands now. See you later and good luck. Damn, I forgot to ask them about my past. Never mind, I can do that later. Right now, I need to meet up with others and take down that necromancer. Wait, who, who is this? Aha, it is I, the Trick Master. Never heard of you. Eh, really? But I'm famous. Well, thanks for freeing me. Senex locked me up because I was so tricky, I threatened his reign of terror. I must go now and train in the mountains to become yet more tricksome. Whatever. So wait, well, he was weird, then again, everyone is. So wait, the side quest we tried to do at the beginning required us to meet the Trick Master. Is that why we couldn't go north there? Because there was no Trick Master, we had to save him first? I don't know. This one contains Wally. Uh, who cares? Oh my god! No, release him! Release him! We can't release him! Oh, I feel so bad. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, climactic, if you want to say it, because, like, we did all of that and we released them for a quick two and a half minute conversation and they just up and disappeared. 
Okay. Either way, I think right now is a good enough spot as any to go wrap up today's episode. We are balls deep in Senex's Necropolis, and I guess in the next episode, we're gonna run up on Senex himself. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Snakewood, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Thank y'all once again for your support, and thank you for checking the video. We got this bitch. Bye!